follow-up video. So, what have I learned today? <laughs> My ego is so sore. It's just crying. It's just so upset. <laughs> I'm just a sensitive kid. Um, so YouTube has it that um, people can comment on stuff and Marcus has commented on something of mine and he's sort of alerted to me that I've actually made mistakes, which is uh, true. And even though I overreact in my comments, sorry about that Marcus, um, I still stand by this, which is my basic message of this video. Don't be surprised if you're disappointed with the image that comes out of your red camera we're recording lower resolutions than the actual sensor resolution. And I still stand by that and it's still true. And uh, I guess what I should have differentiated in with um, when talking about super sampling is when you're delivering something, I mean, as long as you're recording enough pixels to begin with, then once you deliver something, there's not a lot of difference between delivering a 2K image versus delivering a 4K image. And um, subsampling, you can go from a 2K image and increase that up to 4K. And if you looked at an original 4K image versus a 2K upscale to 4K, you can actually tell no difference, you know, at a reasonable viewing distance. Um, and that's absolutely true. Um, I didn't think it would be true, but after watching these videos again that um, Marcus suggested that I do, uh, they're just amazing. Steve Yedlin is amazing. He just, he's just so good at putting bullshit in the bin and backing it up with absolute fact and experience and he's just awesome. Thank you, Steve. Um, but anyway, so here we are in Photoshop and I have um, an Ultra HD image that's been downscaled from 5K from the red uh, Mysterium X sensor. And then if you just in upscale a 1080p version of this back up to HD, it just looks identical. So this is 100%. Um, just to um, reiterate what I'm talking about here. So here is a 4K image. And that 4K image, I opened up in a timeline in Resolve, and then I changed my timeline settings to 1920 by 1080. So then that's being subsampled down from 5K to 1920 by 1080. And then I exported that 1920 by 1080 still into Photoshop. And then I increased the size of it. So I went image size and I upped it to 3840 using the preserved detail algorithm. And then I put that on top of my original 4K from the timeline. And there's literally, Oh, when I say literally, that's a dangerous word. There's, um, I cannot see any difference from, and I'm sitting about 45 centimeters away from the screen. I cannot see a single difference. It's amazing. So it's true. For delivery, 2K is absolutely enough. And I'm watching this on a 4K screen. There's just no difference. So the only time there is a difference is when we start getting super close. And even then, like really, so there is the original, and there is the upscale. And just like we see in Steve's videos um, at 9.45, you can actually see that really, the upscale seems to have more sharpness, actually. Interesting. Anyway, I just thought that was uh, really interesting, that if you're re recording enough pixels to begin with, and you're delivering in 2K, 2K is enough for delivery. I remember I was saying, it's only two megapixels, pathetic. <laughs> well, it is pathetic, but, you know, it turns out once the image has been professionally processed, we don't actually need that much resolution. So, again, I stand by my statement, which is if, especially from my experience with red cameras, but I've also heard other experiences with other cameras. Um, actually, I experienced this with my Sony A7S Mark II. When you record the 120 frames a second mode, um, it just looks soft and crappy and the same sort of reason that I've been pointing out here. So upon capture, it's important to capture the entire sensor and let the camera downscale that entire sensor to the recorded format. If the camera has an option to crop the sensor in order to record a higher frame rate, then be prepared for a less quality, less detailed image with more noise for the reasons that I explained in this video. Anyway, so I uh, hope you guys have a lovely day and um, this is me signing out. <laughs> Bye.